Hi everyone, back for a part two of my decluttering my wardrobe. Um, you seem to enjoy that, it's giving you motivation. Obviously I do need to get my actual proper wardrobe like decluttered. I need to kind of really sift through and yeah, just get rid of those pieces that I just don't reach for or actually won't fit me, don't fit me, probably will never fit me again. Um, yeah, I, I am actually having a home day with the kids, so we've got kids in tow today, so they might be like flitting back and forth, the noise or whatever, but um, I'm going to try and get as much done as I can. Um, yeah, and hopefully again it will give you some motivation. I'm going to be really brutal. I was really brutal my last one I fell. I got rid of two bags worth of stuff. I gave some to my sister as well, um, and it felt amazing just to kind of really narrow down what I have. So yeah we just take it step by step i'm actually gonna I've got, I've got two boxes of like spring summer stuff i need to bring out as well so we'll see what's in those boxes as well i'm gonna quickly get those out the hangers as well so i've got another box like that this one as well but then i've got just like a jean jacket and a couple of tops in there i don't know why that was not fit maybe it just didn't fit in there but um yeah so i'm gonna i'm just gonna go through the wardrobe first because i can't really um obviously go through these if you can't actually fit them in the wardrobe but I do still like doing the kind of switch over so of like the seasonal stuff but to be fair I mean I definitely will do it with a like a lot of the lighter tops and stuff because like this sort of thing I definitely won't be wearing in the winter so there's no point holding it in my wardrobe but um yeah I really want to narrow it down I'm trying to be a bit more minimal with it obviously I do like to buy clothes. I mean, you know, people were commenting saying, you know, you do the same, you declutter, but then you end up buying stuff to put back in. And I am just like that as well. I can't help it if I see something that I really like or, you know, it, yeah, okay, it's just seasonal. It's like a nice new dress or a nice new top for summer. Then I do buy it. But yeah, I'd say I definitely have more staples for the winter than summer. I think once you go into summer you do you know just generally wear and choose things for the weather and how you feel and your style because obviously style changes as well like it really does it can't always be practical like obviously jumpers and jackets and jeans are quite staple practical things that you pull out every single winter so they can be the same for years but I think like dresses and pretty evening tops and stuff change up so much more it's a good thing we really don't have much of a summer it's just very minimal like spring summer is quite a small amount compared to our autumn winter autumn winter always feels so much longer okay, so this is the tax wardrobe you can customize it and this is how I've done it um, so I don't have too much like long hanging space stuff I suppose. My trousers is all here, we've got the little drawer, the denim, I, do, I call this the denim and the shorts. I probably could have put these away and probably should, I might do that at the end of all, like summer and for autumn winter I put the shorts away but for some reason I kept them out this year. Um, but yeah, so I've got my shorts and everything as well pajamas and underwear and then I've got all my tops and then just miscellaneous all the rest of it. I'm going to go through the jeans first, ones that I wear and I'm going to categorise it into like blue and black or you know like a grey sort of tone. <clears throat> I live in jeans so I think it's always a bit harder on these. See I feel like I should get rid of these because um they fall down all the time even though they fit they kind of they're that stretchy material that i find that i'm always going like this yanking them up and it's not because they're big they fit actually really well but they just fall down i just don't get um they're skinny jeans i don't really have many skinny jeans as much as i used to have these are skinny with a bit of distressed from primark I love those. The M&S mum jeans are like my favourite. The Primark mum jeans are my favourite. <sighs> don't ever reach for my Gap jeans anymore. They're just absolutely, some of these are just tiny. Or they're just like super skinny. I don't really wear a lot of super skinny anymore. Way more than I thought. 
I'm going to try these ones on because I really like these from Gap, but I do find something about the because they're proper denim, the straight leg, they don't always fit. I'm going to try these ones on. Um, they might fit around the waist, but I'm not sure if they actually fit in the leg. Don't know if you can see that, but can you see? I think I've just grown my calves. I do a lot of um, my legs are quite a lot toneder than they used to be. They used to be quite thin. But um, can you see, like, these used to fit perfectly and now they're so tight on the calf, it just, I can like barely move in them. Okay, so I've narrowed it down to, it's still quite a lot of jeans. One, two, three, four, five, six pairs of blue, four, five, six pairs of like black grey ones. Again, exactly the same. So I've got rid of one, two, three, four pairs, which I think is pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna go through my, oh, I've got white jeans. I forgot about that. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of those because I remember when I got those, they don't really fit. They fall, they're very similar to the ones that fall down. Okay, so my shorts, I love these. This style, this paper bag short, really really nice the H&M I got these last year can you see they're slightly like wider in the leg in the thigh and then they nip you in in the waist I love those I have those in the black as well that's is that H&M yeah that's they're both H&M and then I got the nude pair from Tesco last year they are pretty much identical I think they're about the same price these are like these ones these are ASOS, by the way, and these are Primark, but they just, I love these cargo lounge around, you know, lounge around the house, sort of, um, sort of short. And then we've got the blue ones, they're from H&M, they match. So I don't have a massive amount of, um, you know, of shorts, I think that's, that's just a good amount. struggle with because I just have quite a lot of choice these are like oversized t-shirts they're my stripy ones which I do reach for and I do wear I probably don't really wear that one um, my roll necks don't wear that one it's kind of a new one black black everything so we've got joggers I do wear obviously there are usually more in here these ones and we've got these ones and then I want to try and basically there's jumpers in here and we'll try and get these in the other wardrobe that you saw in my previous video so this is a jumper that I wear I do this one I like this one as well. This one's a really comfy, oversized. Mom? Yeah? I don't really reach for that. I don't really reach for that. I think I'm going to keep this. I thought that was quite cute. I just need to wear it. Don't ever wear this. Oh my god, I think I may have worn it once. Never wear that. And then you've got this, which I do really like. It's just. It's annoying when you have to keep ironing the collar. Round in like belts and fascinators down here. And then we've got, oh, what's that? More leggings. Oh, I won't keep those. I've really got one black pair of each one. And we've got swim stuff. <coughs> Cat's riding your bike. Can I open this one? Oh, can I open this one? Beep, beep, beep. Careful, it doesn't open anymore. Careful. Right, 
So, I've basically done the drawers. Um, I will give you an overview, but I've pulled out some jumpers I'm keeping that I want to stick in different in the other one because there is space in there. So I'm just going to go through my hanging stuff. So we've got my black gilet. Again, I have the two. I've got two gilets that I kept in the other cupboards I folded up. Again, there's space for the other ones. I'm going to just keep them together. It just makes sense, really, not to just have them separate and then I've got this jacket I really like this I think I'm just gonna put that away for like a seasonal thing you see right I've got my other two gilets which again I could keep with the others which I'm gonna keep these are my newest ones this one's from ASOS and this one's Top Shop but they're both ASOS I bought them both from ASOS so I'm going to see if I can fit them all in together. We'll see. I might end up just hanging them because obviously I do have quite a bit of hanging space here. I've got this jacket which I'm actually going to put in the other cupboard and hang it because it just makes sense to hang it with the blazers Crush and the rest it. of my coats. I'm going to do this. This is a good evening one, see. It's a good evening, like throw on over like a summery dress if you're going out for dinner um, or jeans. And a nice top. I've got my cardigans I wear all the time, which I'm going to keep. I've got um, yeah, the grey underneath. I'm going to keep that. I have to say, I never reach for this one. Ever. I never wear it. I don't think it's just that it's extra long. I've got this one as well, which I've had forever. It's very bubbly and it's, it's really old. I do really like this one. Again, it's more seasonal, I would say. I wouldn't really wear it this time of year because it's quite thick. I've got my teddy coat. I only wore this the other day. I wear this sometimes. So I went out for lunch and I wore, like, some mum jeans and a striped T-shirt. And it's just really cute. I'm going to keep that. I don't know whether to put that in the other wardrobe. I think I'm going to put this one away. This is a, a maybe, as in, like, I'm going to see if I wear it over winter, autumn, winter, like this year, the end of this year because I haven't really reached for it that much this is a wrap top I'm going to keep that and so I've got two cardigans this one needs to go, it is so bubbly I've tried to debubble it but I think it's gone past the stage of like being able to fully <laughs> get it back to its former glory but this one is basically the same thing but yeah it's a Wallace long beige cardigan I've got I actually wore this Mothering Sunday which I just I was thinking I was like getting ready to sell it and I was like ah oh, you know it's a Jules one I just thought you know get rid of it I don't reach for it and then I wore it Mothering Sunday I just thought it was just really pretty it's a pinstripe blue the floral and basically I've just got quite a few shirts and I do another good shirt this is a good one for evening with a pleather trouser. I might put that one away. I'm going to put a couple of these away now because I'm definitely not going to reach for them over spring summer at all. I love a good white shirt. Dress up, dress down, open, have it open, have it, you know, tucked in. A linen shirt, I love it. All, all year round. But I did pick up these two new ones from H&M. I've actually had these a good month or so. They're doing 15% off, so I got them both. So this one's the white linen, and then this one's the beige. Again, these are great little beach cover-ups, you know, just if you go into a restaurant after the beach, or just anything, ho great holiday throw-ons. Um, pop a little bright dress or bikini under it. I just think they're yeah, super cute. One. And I've got a couple of, like, more... I wear this one quite a bit, it's just really a classic. And then I've got a nude one, and then a spotty one. Can't go wrong with the nude, and with the blazer on the top or whatever. A neutral blazer with these ones, because they're a bit more patterned. Right, so we've got <clears throat> leopard print and the pleather skirt. I'm going to keep these hung, I'm not going to bother putting the, any of the skirts away, because I don't have many. Kind of like my jeans and my shorts, I don't have a massive amount and I can keep them out, so I'm just going to leave them out. And I can literally use them spring, summer, autumn, winter. I just put tights with them, with boots. We could put a nice sandal with the pleather skirt or even 
um, you know, converse with the kind of pleated long skirt, just, you know, tone it down. I'm going to get rid of both of these pairs. Honestly, I've had both pairs for years. I never wear them, ever. What is it? You fixed it? Good job, buddy. That is so good. Well done. Okay. Okay, so here's an overview. I feel like it is so much less jammed. Obviously, I haven't put any spring summer back in yet, so no like hanging tops or anything. I did uh, keep my relays up just because I find they are so so much longer than my other ones that I have folded away. Um, they just hang better, and actually, I've got room for it, and they I've just put them on separate hangers. So yeah, I didn't really do much. I know all these jeans fit me. These are more like my white wide leg ones and then these are more, um, just more dressy ones. I have all these at Christmas. Um, and then my like leathery type ones. So yeah, I'm keeping all those up. Like I said, I've sorted out the drawers. So I've got my blue, my skinnies at the back and then more my mum's at the front. I've basically got three of each, which is great. Great choice. Um, and then I've got my shorts over here. Um, I've left that drawer and then this is my t-shirts. I just sieved through some old ones that are just a little bit stained, worn, um, anything that I don't reach for. Again, these are more seasonal for like autumn, winter, but I don't have many. They fit in here nicely. Um, and then this one is basically my joggers. I've got, I think I've got two more pairs to go in there that are in the wash at the moment. And then I've got my swim stuff over here. Um, obviously I've got some new bits. And then I've got some cover-ups at the back. Tights are in here. So I think I've done really well with just getting through the pile. Because this is all the stuff that came out. No joke. This is the stuff that I'm getting rid of. And this came out of what I've just shown you. Which is crazy to think it fitted in there. This is the pile that I'm actually putting away for autumn winter. So, so much less. And this one is all going to charity or my sister's. And look at all the hangers, <laughs> so many. So I'm gonna fold these up, like lighter jumpers. <laughs> to add to the jumper collection. I love that one. And I've got my Jules one. Love this one. Floral, tie-dye. We've got some PJs in here, like more summery PJs. Is just mainly like more sort of girlier, prettier tops. I still don't think I've even worn this one now, so let's tag on. I'm gonna hang that up though, because I might try and make myself wear it. I've got these spotty shorts. I love this, I hang this up. Next romper. A couple of shirts. What's this? top oh my god i remember i bought this last year did i wear it no i haven't worn it i'm gonna wear it this year what it is you do i've been looking at you all night trying to figure you out i just want to make you smile hold your hand in my hand looking at the sunset man you're looking good tonight i want to kiss you before the sun goes down it's what you do shorts and like a little less from Primark so pretty look at that really nice Graham will be pleased to see those numbers again <laughs> so funny isn't it the, the different types of like um, you know pajamas that you, you the phase you go through of like autumn winter spring summer like I just I'm like bundled up to the max the thick fluffy socks you know fu fully covered with a massive dressing gown on every autumn, winter and summer, you sweat like a pig and you're wearing it and you can't get anything. Right, I've got about this box. My denim jacket, it's got three. One, one linen shirt, which I wear, again, layering, whatever. I love that. This really pretty blouse that I got from, I have worn this quite a bit, from ASOS, but it's by Brave Soul. It's just really pretty. And then also this one, which I've worn a lot as well. It's like a Primark. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep these and hang them up and then obviously my denim this is the primark one I've had for a couple of years just a really nice 
wash isn't too oversized. The sun goes down. It's what you do. Okay, I am done. Everything is put away. It's got its own place. It doesn't feel too overwhelming. I mean, it still looks pretty full, but it's definitely good that I've kind of rotated bits. But also, it's kind of organised, you know, and I've got stuff that I'm actually going to wear. Um, so, yeah. I think I've already given you sort of the overview. But that's the top half done. And then obviously the drawers that I showed you. Don't forget to check out the part one because that's more like dressy stuff. See, so yeah, I added in my pajamas. Um, and that one as well. But yeah, I'm so pleased that I've just managed to kind of declutter. I can't believe I managed to pull out, like fill up another black bin liner. It's insane actually when you think about it, how much stuff I had in there that I hadn't worn in a good a year or two. It's crazy, but um, yeah, I feel a lot lighter for it. I really hope this has given you some ideas, some inspiration. Don't forget to check out part one if you want to see what I've done with my blazers and my dresses, and I went through my knitwear as well. But um, yeah, I hope you're enjoying these April vlogs, and I will see you in my next one.